right guys welcome back to my channel uh, on today or on today in today's video I am sharing a spring decor haul it's a very small one there's a couple little Easter pieces in there but I did a little poll on Instagram and asked if you wanted to see the few items I went uh, actually purchased at my local home sense uh, store so I wanted to just update a couple little things in my house and I, I got a gift certificate for Valentine's Day from Derek so of course I went on to home sense which is basically only a couple blocks away from my from where I live which is a good thing but a, not a good thing and I just they have so many cute things right now in there for Easter I really wanted to go to town and buy so much but I just decided I'm as I've done the uh, videos actually I did a video earlier uh, I think last week or whatnot that talked about trying to keep things as minimal as possible when I'm shopping and being very mindful of what I'm buying and purchasing and does it have a spot that it's going to go to if it doesn't why do I need to buy it or what do I want to update so I really felt like I wanted to just update a few things and I'm not going to do too much for Easter I will share that in another video I'll be doing a Dollar Tree uh, spring kind of like DIY that you can incorporate Easter and I'll share that with you and then my little bit of updates of Easter decor in spring with you but let's get into the haul and I hope you really enjoy the video and I'm telling you I'm more than ready for spring it's still cold there's still tons of snow it's spring is upon us very soon I think less than a week but it is still very arctic weather here and we've had just a ton of snow so I am ready for spring so I'm hoping this will give me a little bit of inspiration to continue on until actually spring weather comes so let's get into it so for those that aren't aware, I've said this time and time again, HomeSense is the Canadian version of home goods in the United States. So I have a few items, HomeSense, so let's get started. Well, let's, what should we start with? Hmm, what should we start with? Well, I've, I've got a little wooden bunny. Let's start with that. I've become so obsessed with like wooden items that are rustic looking like this since Christmas time I've really been adding more rustic pieces in my home and I love this kind of carved out bunny and I'm so excited for this this was $12.99 and it's from the brand well-dressed home I just think it's so adorable and that it can just sit you know on top of anywhere you're gonna place it I just love it and that it's carved out I don't know I'm like obsessed with this type of looking decor pieces and I really love that there's not a lot of color to it just basically the natural finish of the wood and then some white or cream I guess it's more of a cream kind of antique look in there rustic finish so I absolutely love this bunny and pick that up if you've been following me on any of my social media for a while you know I'm love succulents faux succulents faux plants greenery it is very much in my home throughout and I had to update a few things so this is just they have so many awesome things you can find succulents at your dollar store dollar tree specifically and do so many different DIYs I just saw this and loved like just this planter look that I wouldn't be able to find at my local dollar store and this was $12.99 and I really really love how cute this is this is gonna go in on my little I have an entryway table that's very small it's taller but it's quite small so it's a real challenge to find decorative pieces to fit on this that aren't too bulky but yet go really cute and I'm ready to refresh this little decorative like this table my entryway table when you walk in it's been the same for for quite a while now and I'm ready just to add a couple new pieces because I'm obsessed with greenery you'll hear me always say obsessed all the time is it 
quite in your face. Yes, it is because I'm in your face sharing my love of succulents and greenery. And what about like it has little feet and I love these kinds of faux planters and it looks pretty real. There's such a variety of cute little ones. As I said, you could definitely do this as a dollar store one, but to find this little planter. I just fell in love with it, so I picked that up. And hmm, what do we have here? Another faux succulent. You will see a ton of greenery stuff in this haul because I love greenery and it just gives me excitement for spring and summer coming. What is not to love about this? This is adorable. It's like a little recreation of a clay pot. It's got this cute little heart white little clay heart on the some twine and then it's got the rocks and a full succulent and i love kind of the jaggedness on top of the of the little pot like it just reminds me of something you would see you know outside planted in a pot or maybe you know where you live you have the climate that you can have these outside year round we don't you couldn't grow succulents outside you know year round sorry that's just not possible um and this was only $4.99 i think this is so darn cute and i really can't wait to share where this is gonna go i think i think i remember where it's going i had it all planned out in my head and once i put it out it will it will definitely look cute i love it i love it now i love signs chalkboards letter boards whatever you name it that has like writing on it or whew, i have to channel the excitement because things like this have always made me excited and i saw this adorable happy happy spring on a it's a faux chalkboard like does that not look like a chalkboard and I wish I could write and do artistic drawings like this on my chalkboard. It's Mine's always very basic, but I absolutely love this. This is by the designer. It's called Designs by Kathy, and it was $9.99, and there were some other ones for Easter, but I really liked this because I it kind of incorporates Easter but spring so I could keep it out longer and transition more into kind of when summer comes so I could keep this out for quite a while. And of course, it's wooden and it has a bit of the rustic look, of course, incorporating that chalkboard. I'm gonna call it faux chalkboard. Is that even a thing now? I don't know. I'm going to say that because that's what it looks like and immediately I was like perfect size everything for what I was looking for so I picked that up. and I'm telling you I just don't want to do too much for Easter so when I show that like it'll be a spring slash Easter decor because I'm not doing a ton and that's kind of what my seasonal this year is going to be less is more as I go on now with decorating uh, in my home less is more is what I'm trying to do and look look at these bunnies with the little cotton like the little cotton ball on there you could if you could find this type of wood um, at your local craft store, then you could paint them, glue them together and put cotton balls or, you know, that kind of thing. Obviously, um, I didn't see anything at my Michaels craft store to be able to do duplicate this as a DIY, but if you're able to come across something like this and just it's unfinished, you could certainly do it yourself. But this was the only one there and I love that it can just sit I'm not sure if you can see that maybe a little bit, but I love that it just sits and that they each have um, the little tails glued on. So it wouldn't be a difficult DIY to do, but this was $16.99, but I fell in love with where this is going to go. It's so cute. And I'm just trying to do very simple Easter. Um, I don't know. It's just the thing I'm doing this year, just keeping stuff as simple as possible so that it just is more minimalist if that makes sense. So I just love how it's all white and has a couple different textures. And these, the two little um, bunny tails are absolutely adorable and I love this. I just, I love it. And uh, again, my greenery, faux greenery is the thing. I actually really adore plants and whatnot, but to be perfectly honest, 
I love it when it's a faux type because it's so easy to maintain. I don't have to worry about watering it. I do have to dust it from time to time, but I just love because they always look so good year round. You don't have to worry about taking care of it. And I love this as a ceramic um container and I like the marble look and this is by the Branch and Blossom uh, Decorative Home Accents and this was $16.99 but I love it guys I absolutely love it what's not to love everything about this this is going to go in my entryway as well my entry table if you're not aware um, I said earlier in the video that it is small but it's taller but it has a second shelf and again I have to really think about what am I going to do and put and has to fit properly and so this will go on the, the bottom shelf and will look really really pretty and tie in kind of the other succulent um, that I purchased to go with it and I love it and I love this marble look so pretty and just beautiful I think it'll look really pretty to I can't wait to do the updates in my home and to share that with you guys now I have only one more item as I said I got a few things I didn't get a heck of a lot and I absolutely this one was more of a splurge but I fell in love with this and where it's gonna go I can't wait look at this guys it's a little metal kind of planter type of thing it's got leather or faux leather like handles on each side and these gorgeous cream and then it's got hints of light green which is my favorite um, accent color to decorate with is green you'll see it throughout my home all the time you know I just loved accenting with green there's something calming about it it brings the outdoors in my home and just makes me happy and i love the way this is so gorgeous and this one was what was the price of this this was my splurge for $24.99 and i you could find i think there's something like this at the dollar store but to honestly find I don't have gorgeous flowers like this specifically and in either of my dollar stores, Dollarama or Dollar Tree, um, to be perfectly honest. And at Dollarama, I found something similar, but each bunch was $3. And if I wanted to do like this, it was going to cost me more than that. So sometimes you really have to be careful with the dollar store um, and just really kind of weigh out what are the costs compared to me just picking it up. And some that's how I think of things when I'm deciding on if I'm gonna purchase a bigger item like this. Can I do that as a, as a, a DIY? If I can, can I get the items that look just as good or similar? Or And if so, how much is that gonna cost? Because sometimes it costs more or about the same to do a DIY, hence, why sometimes I pick up an item like this that I know I'm not going to be able to do as nice or have the overall look that I want and there was just something about everything like there'd be no way I could do this little handle thing on it you could kind of glue something similar but it's on like it's on there it's punched and secured nicely so you can actually hold it up I mean just depends on what you want to spend and this is gorgeous it's going on my in my living room i did a updated living room tour i derek built a little shelf um, and i can do a little bit more with decor on there and i thought to just update that a little bit i'm gonna add this on it and it's gonna go through till summer through to the fall when i can change things up for the f for that time of the year going to christmas but i love how full it is this could go lots of different places in your house but immediately I thought this would look perfect and just add a different um, feel to that little shelf and then I'll add a, a one or two I think just a one of the things I got for Easter I will add to it. and I think it's absolutely gorgeous like it just is amazing and I love this silver metal planter type of box and I love it so guys, that is it for my little, I call it more of a smaller mini haul for spring slash a tiny few pieces for Easter. But I wanted to share with you and hope that you enjoyed getting inspired that spring let's cross our fingers is actually on the way Easter Bunny come and bring 
you know, for Easter, instead of bringing me candy, bring me nice, warm spring weather. I don't need candy. No, we don't need the candy. Trust me, I don't. I need some warmth, spring happiness coming my way. So let's have the Easter Bunny <laughs> send us some spring weather, please. Please do so. I'm tired of winter. It's been going on since October and I'm ready to be outside in my yard. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you all have an amazing day and I appreciate all of you stopping by and watching my videos and leave me any questions or comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.